All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Arm Hug Podcast, where we are interviewing subject matter experts in mobile business or entrepreneurship. So today we are with Toya Wallace. She is a serial entrepreneur. She has a few businesses, but today we're going to talk about Jace Laboratories and Screening LLC located in Florida. Is that right? Yes. That's so cool. I'm excited for you guys to get to know her. I found her scrolling on social media and I reached out because she had so much personality in her posts. And I think that that's something that, you know, when you're looking at something or when you're looking for something, whether it's a service or a product, you know, when you see something that's interesting and eye-catching, you're going to want to stop and see it, even if you don't need it. So whatever you're doing is working. And I wanted to bring you on because I get a lot of questions from people who want to start YouTube channels and who want to become personalities, maybe have their own talk show, which I think you can do. So tell me a little bit about how you got started. Started with my YouTube channel? I would say start to the business because your business is, I think, one of the reasons your YouTube channel right now is flourishing. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Toya Wallace. I'm here located in Jacksonville, Florida, but I'm originally from St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, America's paradise. Make sure you hear that. Okay. So, so let's talk. Okay. So I have multiple businesses, but we're going to focus on the lab as well as my personal brand. I am Toya Wallace. It's my personal brand. That's me as an individual. And I also own Jace Laboratories and Screening LLC located in Jacksonville, Florida. Well, to be honest, when I first started my lab, it's I did not initially wanted to start a lab. You know, as you're growing, you you know, as a child and you're growing, you're trying to figure things out. But the opportunity came about um, during right before COVID because I had my own spa. I have my own spa and it's called Glow Beauty Aesthetics. And while working in my spa, the opportunity came about where I was able to offer drug testing services in my, my spa. But that was something that I didn't want to do. I wanted it to be separate entities. So once I did all my research, I decided to embark, you know, and go ahead and full circle, like just totally jump into it. When I launched my lab, it was easy for me to launch my lab. Of course, I had to become trained as a specimen collector and um, then just, of course, build the lab from the ground up. One, what the experience I have. So I didn't come into the lab just not having any experience. Everybody's situation is different. But I had prior experience as a collector back, you know, years ago, prior to when I opened up my lab, I stayed in Orlando, Florida. And I was a medical assistant. That was like, I was like, 1920 wow. I was a medical assistant and I got hired at SeaWorld and a lot of people like SeaWorld as a medical assistant but the thing is SeaWorld has a health services center because they're mm-hmm. dealing with a forest guest so if someone slips and falls if anything happens they have to be able to attend to the guests right away so with that being said as a medical assistant I operated in the drug screening department where we did everything drug screening for employment and pre-employment so whether it was random new hires workplace injury it didn't matter like that's what I did all day every day for my nine to five so fast forward to 2020 2020 2019 2020 when an opportunity came like I said well you know what but I did this before so why not right so it was easy. And then, of course, um, when it comes to business, the business language, I'm into that. Like, I'm, like I'm, I'm so into that. So it was just easier for me to start because I had the experience, the working experience. I've been in the environment for some time. Not only that, I'm familiar with a lot of reference labs. I'm familiar with individuals or like, like I should say, I should say executives in the industry. Right. So it was easier for me to get in. So I just started a lab and um, of course, you know, any, if anybody know anything about starting a new business, you're not going to go from zero to $1 million in a month or two, unless you're coming from a franchise, already have their name, 
They already build a model. You don't got to worry about nothing because the name has already been built. Um, unless you're coming from that direction, of course, any business that you start, I don't care what nobody say. They could say what they want. I don't care. Any business you start, it's, it's going to be a struggle in the beginning. Okay. Some people, it might take longer and some people it might not take as long. Um, so yeah, that's where Jace Laboratories come from. And of course, the name, J-A-C-E, my maiden name is Jackson. My married name is Wallace. So I took the first two letters of my maiden name for Jackson and the last two letters for my married name, Wallace, the C-E. Um, and that's where Jace comes from, laboratories and screening, because we not we don't just only perform laboratory services. We also do employment screenings, okay? So it, it comes together. That's amazing. So you took all these ideas basically you have and tried to do something with it. That's really hard to do. It is. So did you start with one business and then you branched off to several others? No, really. You just. And I'm glad you asked because a lot of people do ask me, well, Toya, how you do it? Mm -hmm. and you know what? I'm trying to speak proper, but let me, let me just, let me just like bring it up. They were like, Toya, how you do this? And I'm like, for me, when it comes to business, number mm -hmm. one, I don't want to work for nobody. I do not want to work for anybody. But of course, as you're going through life, you have to. For me, every single thing that I learned from high school to now, everything that I operate, like wherever I operate in, it came from experience. It didn't come from just me punching a clock. Every time I got hired at a job, I know I didn't want to work for nobody. Like, I don't want you to tell me when to go use the bathroom. I don't want, no, I, want, I don't want to, can I go take a break now? I don't have time for that. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, Every time I got hired at a job, it was an opportunity for me to learn the skill, master the skill, so I can apply it later on. I did not know where I would have applied it. I just know this is knowledge that I have, and once I have, nobody can take it. So prior to me getting into the lab, I initially, I worked for Corporate America. I worked in hospitality, I work for call centers, I work in the airport, I work for rental car companies, I work. But my last job prior to me going full fledged, and when I say for, I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. Mm -hmm. I've been 12 years, so I've been an entrepreneur for 13. But I was teaching, I went into teaching. So, yes, I got hired at my daughter's middle school. At that time, I was her English teacher and I taught English. And I, but God had a different plan. Right now, I'm a corporate trainer. So I train individuals to launch their lab, not just certify them on becoming specimen collectors. You understand? Not just that, but building their lab from the ground up, meaning I assist them in finding the right location, the right partnerships, right documentation you need, paperwork, like every single thing. Like my students, hey, if you're going to sign a lease before you sign a lease, make sure you consult with me. You call me on, on, on FaceTime and let me tour that building with you to, so I can tell you if that's a good place or not. You know, other executives in the, the pre-employment industry, they know my name. My name is very familiar. So like if I tell them, hey, this is one of my students. Yes, please help them get them this or get them that. They'll say, oh, you want to tell your students? Okay, boom. Or sometimes they would, like someone, if it's a student of mine, they would probably reach out. And if they reach out, they would call me, the executive will call me and say, hey, do you know this person? Is this one of your students? Before they decide to put them on top because I vet, you know, business relationships is very important to yeah. me, not just students, but also for, you know, business to business. Yeah. So um, I'm, I train. I'm in training. I, I train individuals, not just me operating a lab. But the thing about what makes me an effective trainer, I have my own lab that I operate daily. Of course, I have employees, but I operate daily. So everything comes from initially experience. Does that make sense? Everything comes from experience. Everything comes from me working in my lab, knowing from the ground up, like, where this file cabinet belongs, you know, what, what is over here, what used to be, like, I know every single thing. So if you, any question you ask me, I'm able to answer. I don't have to go research it. It's very rare I have to research, but that is because I studied my business, if that makes right. sense. I studied it to a T. So when I first opened my business and we were slow, guess what? I did not take that as an opportunity to be like, oh my God, be depressed or anything like that. No, while, while I wasn't getting customers, I was studying my business completely 100%. Like I didn't take no day off. I just 
go to my business until somebody walked in and I started getting busy. Oh my goodness. I could feel your energy. So I could see how you definitely were running that business. Yeah. I believe it. I believe it. So now, guess what? Sorry to interrupt you. So okay. Esther's who actually reached out to me and say, hey, I have some money. Can you open up the lab? I don't want to do anything with it. I just have the money and start that business. So I, I'm not only now, I'm not only operating my lab, I'm not only training others to become specimen collectors, I'm not only helping them build their lab, meaning a phone call here and there, or I have training classes and meetings. I now have individuals, come, um, business, um, investors that say, hey, I want to open up my lab, but I don't want to do anything. So I'm giving you full control. So I go to their location and I go look for, I go, I go to the state where they're located at. I am the person who's seeking out the location, the office signing, the lease, registering the business, ordering the supplies, building the furniture, putting up, putting down, hiring the employees, training the employees, and now I'm directing the company. So uh there's different levels to you know what it is that I'm actually doing with me as a trainer. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the services that the people are providing in the labs that you're operating? Okay. So in my lab, we offer DOT drug testing, non-DOT drug testing, DNA testing, hair follicle collection. We offer I-9 verification, fingerprinting, background check, onboarding. So for example, you have a small business owner who wants to hire individuals, but they don't want to pay a big company to do their onboarding. Yep. We have all your HR for you, anything to do with pre-employment. So from hiring, interviewing, as resume editing, assisting all of that, um, like I say, making sure you are eligible to work in the United States. So making sure your paperwork is correct, drug testing, you know, if you fall on the job, suspicion, anything that happened. We also even offer mobile testing. So we actually go to locations, you know, if an employee is at fault or something happens and the employer contacts us. Um, sorry, I'm looking over at my mom because she's just back and forth. Um, if if an employer contacts us um, and say, hey, we need you to do a drug test, we go on site. I will even do job fairs. So I have been hired several times. Our company have been hired several times to actually do a job fair in Miami. So I would have to go five hours away if I'm driving or a flight to do job fairs for over hundreds of people doing their drug screen and their pre-employment boarding. Nice. On boarding. Can you talk a little bit about how the marketing has helped you in your business? Because I see you have a banner back there. You talk about your own branding. How has it been working for you? Well, let me see. When it comes to me, presentation is everything. Mm -hmm. If you, if I'm trying to sell you a service, for example, if I'm a cosmetologist and my hair look all busted up, but I'm trying to tell you I'm the bad hair cosmetology in the flip, let me tell you who, like, like, I don't expect you to believe me. If I see someone say they do nails, but their nails look jacked up, you can never touch my nails. There's no way. So for me, presentation is everything. I don't care if you don't have the money to buy uniform. I don't care if you don't have the money to buy uniform. You understand what I'm saying? Get you some shirts, have it printed, and you rock that until you may not be able to afford the big banner. But make sure your background look right. So even with my banners, one of the things that I even tell my students or anybody, like anybody, anyone, sometimes people pay attention to everything that's around you before they, they focus on you. You understand? So for me, my banner speaks for me. I don't have to do a lot of talking if you look at my banner. It will at least get you in the door. I may be the worst host. I may be the worst trainer but my presentation is going to sell and you're going to invest. And then you will realize, okay, well, she ain't what she says she is or what she put you. Does that make sense? Yeah. That, I think so. That's not my case because maybe I, I got this a lot, right? But um, when it comes to marketing, I'm big on that. I want people to know who I am, not just local. I'm global. That's just, that's, that's my, that's my mantra. I'm global. I'm international. 
I am not just a local commodity, if that makes sense. I'm here for everybody and I can provide services for everybody. Doesn't matter, even doesn't matter what industry. So when it comes to me, marketing my brand is not just for local. It it plays a big role. It plays a big role in everything that I do. When I speak, when I train, it plays a big role. This is something that I implement in every single business. So every single business that I have, we have marketing, the proper marketing materials from banners to, of course, business cards. You know, those are basic, but like it starts from there and go up. Is there anything that you're looking for now to add to your business? People that you're looking to hire? Well, well, I have a roster of employees. I, as far as, as my lab, I do want to become the next lab core or quest in the state of Florida. Of course I can go elsewhere, but I want to, I want to take over Florida. Wow. The thing, the thing about my lab, we are multi multi service. So we are we're in occupational health. We're in medical and clinical. We also deal with pre employment. So we have different departments that we cater to, or I should say, different industries. So, for example, yes, we do diagnostic testing, anything to do with blood work, COVID testing. Allergy testing. We also do pre-employment screening. So you need a job. We assist with that. We help the employer with that process. We also offer business services. So if you are wanting to start a business, um, a lot of people call me the idea bank. If you're wanting to start a business, I don't care what the business is. I don't care if the market is saturated. If you bring me your eye, if you tell me what you want to do, I can create a whole different platform for you in 30, a matter of 30 seconds speaking to you. Even though you feel it's saturation, by the time I'm finished speaking to you, you're going to realize, okay, well, this is where I really need to be. As far as growing the labs, like I said, I would want it to be all over Florida, but my, my niche is different. I'm gearing towards more the pre-employment screening side, as well as DNA, because we're in Florida. I cater to a lot of immigrants and international individuals and businesses that come down. That, that is my niche because I'm international. Even though I'm from the Virgin Islands and US territory, I am familiar with a lot of international people or businesses. So that those are, they, they are my target. I want to be able to assist them beyond just a phone call. So um, I want to expand my labs in the state of Florida, being able to offer more. And if like, if you're, so when it comes to franchises, you know, some fr fr some franchises offer the same thing and then some might have one thing extra. Like for example, you might go to McDonald's on the South side and they might have the guacamole burger, but then you go on the one in a different state and they don't offer that. So with, with all the locations that I would like to open, I want us to offer generalized, same thing, but each location would have something different. If that makes sense. So for example, here we this is the headquarters. So we offer everything. But I might open up a location in let's say Orlando and we may not offer fingerprinting. That location may not offer that one thing, depending on the market, the need, the saturation. So um that's that's what I want to do. I want to take over Florida. I'm gonna take over Florida. Now one, I'm gonna take over Florida. Of course, expansion is a big thing for me. I definitely want um, my lab. I really want to push DNA testing, especially in the South Florida area and be able to market to the international islands because that is a big, there's, there's a big need that that is, there's a big need. And I know people contact me. Wow. And are you coaching only in Florida? Oh no. So my, my, my programs are expanded to the entire United States and the Virgin Islands. So I have students in Texas. I have students in California, all over Texas, North Carolina. The other location that I open is in North Carolina. I just actually recently opened a location in Tampa, Georgia, India. I mean, not India, Indiana, uh, Massachusetts, Maryland. So a lot of the labs that you may have seen around or may have interviewed, I don't know if you have, I maybe have been that person who actually trained them to get them started. That's amazing. It's like you're an undercover 
trainer or just coaching people, but nobody knows that who coached them. <laughs> yeah. Unless, you know, you know, I, I, I don't brag about it. I just, you know, people, they, I know what I offer. So people are going to, I don't have to market myself. Let me put it that way. I don't have to market myself. I really don't. Yeah. And can you talk a little bit about the channel? Because that's something that I'm getting a lot of interest. There's a lot of people looking to start using video, but they're scared or they don't have time or they're not making time or they try to say like, you know, if I get all this equipment, it's expensive. What kind of advice do you have for people who want to start? Okay. So the first thing is start. The first thing is to start. The yeah. first, like, I don't care what you, you have to start. That's, that, that's, I come across that a lot. People's, yeah. people big here is to start something so okay once you get over that thing like you know i'm gonna start when it when it come to um when it came to starting my channel um of course my husband always telling me you start your channel because like you know you you could sell this you could sell that you know a lot of people always asking you to create a channel and i'm like i really didn't want to go that direction because i kind of i'm intimate like i'm i'm an introvert to be honest like i'm like uh, i'm shy I didn't want to do that, but he's like, you go live all the time. So I go live on Facebook all the time. You know, some people, Instagram is their thing. Some people, Facebook is their thing. Facebook is my thing. Facebook is my thing. So I go, I used to go live on Facebook all the time. Like, even you know, with my spa, I just doing a facial. I said, yeah, come facial with me. And like live and like my daughter will be there. And I just be, I'm just transparent. Like if, yeah. like I ju I'm just transparent. So I don't, nothing is sugar coated. I, I'm not painting a picture so everything I used to go live all the time and um my once my husband was like just do YouTube I'm like okay cool you don't have to set it up for me because I know nothing but no YouTube I don't know how to do none of that right he said okay just let get these things in place he knew it I said get whatever materials we needed so if we need a specific camera whatever the case is we lights which is things I had because of course I have my own spa so I had a lot of ring lights so we started recording at home and he would, he would coach me. He would say, well, here's what I want you to talk about. Cause he, he's a YouTube fanatic. Right? He, like he do YouTube all the time. So he's like, this is what the people want to hear. So I said, well, you tell me what it is that you want me to talk about. I could talk. You just gotta tell me what you want me to talk about. And like, he would tell me, okay, like three of the services you offer, talk about the training you offer, everything that you do on Facebook, Toya, do that on, on, on YouTube. So once I started to get um, for me, I started paying attention to YouTube mm -hmm. as other people's channel that offer what I offer, but how would the audience responds and stuff like that, right? What I did was got my, got my, got my shit together and I said, okay, well, got to make sure that everything looks presentable. So that was big for me. That's marketing. That is marketing. So, um, I initially say okay well we need to come up with a name and i'm different when it comes to name i'm just different. like look at jace like what did you like jace come on now like i'm different when it comes to name and he for the first name i came up with was um it was chicken something it, it, it was crazy it was crazy it was what it was it was chick it was something with food i love food it was something with food right but i told him i wanted to i wanted my youtube channel to be about food lifestyle and business all those, you That's know, top of business. So he said, okay. So once we, I, I said, okay, you know what? Food, salt. I love salt. S-A-L-T. I just love salt. I don't care. Like, if it, I just love salt. And I, yeah. salt to me represents hard work, labor, like blood, sweat, and tears. Salt represents hard work and labor. Like, you ain't just sitting down there and sweating like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, salt represents hard work and labor. And then, like I said, I love salt, right? And then stilettos, I'm a woman at heart. I'm a lady, like, all day, every day. I don't wear sneakers. I'm not a sneaker. I'm not a sneakers person. I'm a, I'm tall. I'm five, seven and a half, five, eight. But I'm a stilettos person. Like, I walk in pumps. And you can't tell me where I'm like Naomi Campbell when I put on those stilettos, okay? So I was like, salt and stilettos. And he was like, what? He like, no. Nah. I was like, keep it. It's going to be catchy because I don't want it to be anything like anybody else i just i wanted to be different good for you lifestyle and business yeah. so that rang up that you know we we took that we took that over and then we started we just started and i learned when i was doing my facebook lives i was able to actually download my facebook lives 
and upload it to my YouTube, which made it easier for me to record because sometimes when he's at work, because he works, when he's at work, I don't, I'm not the type of person, you know, there are individuals who are always taking pictures and doing, like, I don't do that. After I take off my makeup, I remember, oh, I should have took a video or picture. That's me. So I'm not that type of person who walk around with their phone, just always want to take videos and like, I don't do that. So Facebook was easier for me to do the video and then have it uploaded to YouTube. That was much, much easier. So mm -hmm. that's I did that. And the more people engage and ask me certain questions, I was able to come up with the actual content because now I would tell them, hey, whatever you want to know, let me know. And I'll talk about it. If it relates to this, if you want to talk about it. And then, like I said, anything that I teach in my training programs or I do in my lab, anything that like any service, anything that, that happens in my lab, I put it together as content and say, okay, this is something that the people need to know. This is what the audiences need to know. I know somebody have a question about this, but they don't know how to ask it. So I ain't gonna let them ask it. I'm gonna just drop it. And it just start building and building. And if you notice on the channel, it's more business because of course, I pay attention to what the people wanna hear. I do wanna incorporate more food and lifestyle, but for right now, you go where, where, where you, you open the door that, that that's being knocked. So people are asking about drug testing, starting their lab. And that's, that's where, that's why you see, I probably have more videos of starting the lab than anything else, because that's what the audience has been asking. Is there anything that we can do for you? The audience that's listening? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah this is support. a an interview. Um, of course, check out, like, if you know anybody, this is what I tell people. If you know anybody, if you have a friend, that ain't doing nothing with their life. And you want to be a blessing to their friend? Have them purchase my program. I run so much specials. Um, I run a lot of specials because I can.